Good morning. Find a seat. Close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Out of your mouth. Through your nose. Out of your mouth. Again, through your nose. Hold at the top for three, two, one. Exhale out. Welcome to your practice, yogi. Today we are working on heart openers. My name is Kevin and this is Taylor. She will be your demo body as we move through our practice today. The props necessary for our practice are a strap or a towel or anything that allows you to take a bind behind your back. One of the poses that we'll be finding today is chest expansion. And it's wise to have something to grip onto unless you don't have any difficulty bringing your hands together and palms together. Um, but otherwise it might be wise to have something to bring your hands together. Also recommended that you have something to sit on, something comfortable like a bolster, a blanket, or a uh, cushion. So to begin our practice, I'd like to invite an intention of keeping it simple. One of my favorite uh, acronyms is K-I-S-S, -S, keep it simple, stupid. There are many days that we wake up and we immediately begin throwing our whole agenda on ourselves instead of just focusing on the first thing, which is maybe using the restroom or drinking some water. And when we compile all of the stuff on us early in the day that maybe we forget to drink water in the morning or we forget to just look at the sunrise, whatever it might be. So the intention for our practice today is keep it simple. And I'm gonna leave out the stupid part because none of us are actually stupid until we really take on that whole, whole day or the whole week all at once. That's when we start to get a little crazy in our minds. So I invite you to set an intention today that is very simple. Maybe it is keeping it simple or maybe there's another intention that you'd like to set for your practice. We're starting in a seated position. Go ahead and find your way to a comfortable seat if you have the playlist on Spotify, the playlist is called Yoga Flow Heron Initiation. The first song is called Tuva. You can press play whenever you are ready. From your comfortable seat, shift your sit bones side to side. Close your eyes. Sit tall. Just allow the soles of your feet and the palms of your hands to soften. Notice how good it feels to just be here. In this simple moment. Within our breath practice today, we will utilize a bit of breath retention. We will be only holding our breath for three to five seconds at the top of the inhale and the bottom of the exhale. If this makes you feel panicked or anxious, don't feel like you have to hold your breath, but again, it's only going to be for a short time. Rest your tongue at the roof of your mouth, create a gentle constriction in the back of your throat. Begin breathing in and out of your nose. About a four second inhale. And a four second exhale. Deep breath, fill your belly and your chest. 
Deep breath all the way out. And continue at your own rhythm and be with the sound of your breath and nothing else. Let go of anything else happening in the world, in your life, and just be here with the sound of your ocean breath. Release any unnecessary tension in your body. Just be simple. And let's sink our breath up. Exhale all of your air. Inhale, fill up to your chest. Hold your breath for five, four, three, two. Exhale out of your sit bones into the earth. Press all of the way out and hold out for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, fill all the way up as deep of a breath as you can take in. Hold at the top for five, four, three, two. To exhale all of the way from your sit bones to the center of the earth. Press every bit of air out. Hold out for five, four, three. Last round. Inhale, fill all the way up. Take an extra sip of air at the top. Hold. Exhale all of the way out. And keep your eyes closed as we mix in a little bit of movement. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up overhead. Press your palms together as you draw them through heart center. As they move past your hips, release your hands back out to the sides, palms up. Inhale, sweep out and up. Hands together, draw them through. Focus on the sound of your breath. Inhale, sweep out and up. Press hands through. And go for two more rounds at your own pace. Notice where your mind is at, or if you have already started complicating things, like what is this supposed to look like? Or how much longer am I doing this? Am I breathing in the right way? All of those things are important, but just focus on doing your best, breathing and moving. Pause with hands at heart center and let's set an intention for our practice. What is it that you need from today? Do you need simplicity? Do you need restoration? Do you need extra energy in your practice? And when you have stuck with an intention or when one has presented itself to you, breathe that intention into your heart. Out of your mouth, exhale. Again, breathe your intention into your heart. This time, stick your tongue out, lion's breath. <laughs> Inhale, sweep your arms out and up overhead. First pose is seated twist to the right. Bring your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind your spine. Press into the floor as you inhale, lengthen your spine upwards. And as you exhale, deepen your twist, gaze over your shoulder. Two more breaths here. Inhale, lengthen, press down, sit tall. And exhale, deepen your twist. Use the strength of your arms to make this deeper. One more round. Inhale, lengthen. This time, hold at the top for three, two, one. Exhale all of the way out. Press, press, press. Hold out for three, two, one. Back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Seated twist to the left. Right hand, left knee. Left hand behind your spine. Act as a second spine here. Inhale, lengthen upwards. Press your sit, sit bones down, crown of your head up. Exhale, deepen your twist. Gaze over your shoulder. Two more. Inhale, press down, lengthen upwards. Exhale, deepen your twist. Maybe use the strength of your arms. Beautiful, Aaliyah. Last round. Inhale, fill all the way up. Hold at the top for three, two, one, exhale, deepen your twist. Take it just a hair deeper, good. Inhale, back to center, arms up and overhead. And let's make our way into tabletop position. Go ahead and move to all fours. 
Bring your wrists under your shoulders and knees underneath your hips. And I invite you to bring your intention with you, whatever that intention might be. It's very easy to move from pose to pose and just kind of throw our intention to the side like it doesn't matter, but it is important that we move intentionally in our practice. Take 30 seconds of freestyle movement. Just do whatever your body wants to do. There is no right or wrong. I like to think of this time as a physical check-in Notice how your joints feel. What are your wrists doing, your elbows, your shoulders? What do your hips need from this practice? How do your knees feel? Is there any tension in your ankles? Explore for another 10 seconds or so. And just a reminder, you can always skip or modify or freestyle at any time throughout our practice. I'm just here to offer up some safe suggestions, but you do what feels good in your body. Let's come back to neutral spine, a few rounds of cat-cow with retention. Inhale, drop your belly, lift your chin, send your gaze upwards, no retention on the first round. Exhale, arch your back, round chin towards your chest, press your hands vigorously into the floor. Beautiful, Taylor. Inhale, drop your belly down, lift your chin to the sky, suspend for three, two, one. Exhale, arch your back, round chin towards your chest, press your hands down, suspend for three, two, one, inhale, belly down, shoulders back, gaze up, rotate your hips a little bit higher. And exhale, arch your back, round chin towards your chest, pull your belly button towards your spine. Last round, inhale, belly down, shoulders back, suspend at the top. Exhale, arch your back, round chin towards your chest, press your hands down, down, down. Inhale back to neutral spine and set up for playful dog pose or puppy pose, melting heart, whatever you'd like to call it. Walk your hands forward to the front of your mat. Keep your hips aligned over your knees and drop your heart towards the earth. Now, just a reminder, we don't want this to be a child's pose or a plank pose. We want our hips aligned directly over knees. And then think about letting the heaviness of your heart drop towards the earth and allow the weight of the earth to hold you. Take a breath into the back of your heart. Exhale, get a little bit heavier. One more round of breath, fill up. All the way out, exhale. Inhale, move back to neutral spine. And in your own time, we'll make our way to Downward Dog, but there is no rush to get there. So if you still need a wrist stretch or a foot stretch, or if you need to adjust your clothing or your hair, now is the best time to do it. We don't like adjusting our hair right as we're going through the middle of a flow. Siri is attempting to teach us through our class right now. Thank you, Siri. <laughs> And once you have found your way to Downward Dog, make sure that your hands are shoulder width distance, that your fingertips are spread wide, and press your chest back towards your thighs. I like to have my feet about hip distance apart here, but wider or narrower won't hurt you. But think about rotating your hips up towards the ceiling as you press your chest back towards your thighs. And just notice how this first Downward Dog feels. Let's connect with the intention that we have set for ourselves, simplicity or anything else. Breathe that intention into your body. Anything standing in the way, let it out of your mouth. Again, breathe your intention in. Open mouth, exhale. Lower down to dolphin, down to your forearms. This is a pretty spicy pose early on in our practice. So you're welcome to stay in downward dog if you'd like, but we're just lowering down to forearms. We step our feet in a little bit closer, six to 12 inches closer, and press your forearms forward to press your chest back towards your thighs. And just breathe here for three rounds of breath. We still want elbows to be shoulder width distance, no wider. Good adjustment, Divya. Nice layout. Last breath. See if you can press just a hair deeper. 
Good, Arnie. Inhale, up to your hands, gaze forward, and then make your way to the top of your mat. Let's start off in ragdoll. Grab opposite elbows, bend your knees generously until your chest rests on your thighs. And we want our feet to be hip distance or wider. If you're wondering, am I hip distance? Then just bring them wider. It's better to be too wide than too narrow here. Now straighten your right leg, bend your left knee. Dip your left elbow towards the floor and rotate your right elbow forward and kind of up. Gaze underneath your right armpit towards the ceiling. Breathe here for three rounds of breath. If you want a little extra spice, you can lift your left heel off of the mat and drive your right heel a little bit deeper. Only do the modifications if it does not hinder your ability to breathe deep in the posture. Inhale, move back to center, and we'll switch it out. Straighten your left leg, bend your right knee. Gaze underneath your left armpit towards the ceiling. Maybe lift your right heel off of the floor. And let's tune in to deep breaths here. Are you able to keep it simple in this kind of complex shape? Are you able to let go of shoulds? Come back to center, release your hands to the floor, toe heel your feet closer together, and let's find a halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen your spine, reach the crown of your head forward, and exhale, forward fold, draw your nose towards your shin. Start to use the strength of your body to make compression. Two more times, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen forwards. And exhale, forward fold, draw your nose towards your shins, create compression, good Lillian. Last round, go a little bit deeper, go to 100% of your extension. And exhale, fold, find your edge, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful, everyone. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up and overhead. Draw hands to heart center and close your eyes. Lift all 10 of your toes. Notice the texture of whatever is underneath you, whether it is grass, carpet, hardwood, or your yoga mat. Notice if you feel distracted by anything else and just bring your attention back here to this posture. Simple mountain pose, full breath. Full breath out. Inhale, sweep your arms up and overhead. Keep the top of your shoulders plugged down. Exhale, swan dive. Lead with your heart, hinge from your hips, reach as far as you can. Find a halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands, step back to high plank and pause here. This is our first high plank. Shift forward, shift back, shift left, shift right and just notice your body again, kind of a physical check-in of how you're feeling. Inhale, shift forward one inch. Exhale, lower all of the way to the floor. Option to drop your knees. We're starting with rolling cobras, low cobra, medium, and then high. No arm strength for the first round. Inhale, lift your chest, float your hands, draw your elbows and shoulders back. And exhale, release. This time use a little bit of arm strength. Inhale, press down with your arms, press the tops of your feet into the earth. Beautiful, and exhale, release. This time, high cobra or up dog. Inhale, lift up. What's up, dog? Shoulders down and back. Maybe gaze up. And exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Your choice. And exhale, back to downward dog. Full breath in. Inhale. Open mouth. Exhale. Inhale, shift forward. High plank. Exhale, lower halfway or all of the way. Cobra or up dog. Inhale, pull your heart through. Draw your shoulder blades back. Exhale, back to downward dog. Beautiful movement, everyone. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Take your intention with you. Halfway lift, lengthen. Forward fold. Exhale, draw your nose to your shins. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up and overhead. This time, cactus back bend. Cactus your arms, lift your heart. Inhale, mountain reach high. Hands together, dive, forward fold, long spine. 
Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back, high to low plank, elbows hug as you lower. Remember, you can always drop your knees. Up dog or cobra, and move back to downward dog, exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, mountain. We'll do one more with regular breath. Cactus your arms, exhale. Inhale, mountain, reach high. Exhale, forward fold, long spine, hands through center. Good, Arnie, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back, high to low plank. Up dog or cobra. Exhale, move back to downward dog. Okay, and we're going to fine tune this now. Inviting in a simple two second retention at the top of the inhale, two second retention at the bottom of the exhale. And just notice how this transforms the sensation in your postures. Full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Hold for two at the top. Exhale, step or hop to the top. Forward fold at the top. Hold out for two, one. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms high. Hold for two. Back bend, exhale. Hold out for just one. Inhale, mountain, reach high. Hold two. Forward fold, exhale. Beautiful, everyone. Nice breath. I can't hear you, but I can see you. Halfway lift, inhale, hold at the top for two. Exhale, just step back to plank. Hold out for two. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway or all of the way. This is where things get really spicy. Up dog or cobra, draw your shoulder blades back. Hold in for two. One, exhale, downward dog. Hold out for two. One. So it's very simple. We're gonna go back to our regular breathing now, but we'll start to add on to our additional flows with the retention of our breath. Full breath in. Open mouth. Are you keeping it simple? Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Step your right foot between your hands. If your strap is nearby, go ahead and grab it. Taylor doesn't need a strap, but I'll have her just demo with one. We're lifting up to mount, or rather, warrior one to begin. So set your footing. We want our left toes facing the top left corner of the room. Our feet should be about hip distance apart. And I like to think about having my legs at a 70 to 80% lunge length, meaning we're not as stepped out as far as we can, but we're in a happy medium where we're getting extension, but we're still able to rotate our right hip back and our left hip forward. Now just close your eyes. And notice any sensations that are happening right now. Bring your hands together behind your back. Option to use your strap here. Again, Taylor will demo with the strap even though she doesn't need one. Squeeze your palms together, but also try to rip the strap apart. Now as you inhale, send your gaze up. And as you exhale, dive down for humble warrior. Press vigorously into the pinky edge of your left foot. Rotate your left hip forward and your right hip back. Keep squeezing your arms. Reach your arms up and forward towards the front of the room. It's an uncomfortable pose, not only for our joints, but for our breath. And we're upside down. Breathe here. Good. Nancy, bring your hands closer together. Uh, behind your back. You had it. And then just bring your hands closer together on the strap. You got it. Take a full breath into your heart. Everyone, just a hair deeper. Inhale, slow rise back up to warrior one. And then find your way into warrior two. You can ditch the strap, throw it off to the top of your mat. Find your way into warrior two and take a few pulses in and out of your front leg. Yeah, adjust your pants, your hair, whatever you need to so that you can arrive fully in warrior two. Beautiful. 
Here, we do want our stance to be about 90, 95% of lunge length. So we're really extended. Left toes face the left side of the room, right toes forward. And we're standing on a balance beam here. No matter how many times I've done this pose, I will always just glance down at the feet to make sure that we are where we want them. A little bit narrower feet, Nancy, closer, closer inward. Soften your shoulders, close your eyes, and just be here. Are you thinking about what's the next pose? Are you thinking about what's for lunch today? That's not keeping it simple, y'all. Inhale, reverse warrior, right palm flips. Exhale, side angle, left elbow to left inner thigh. Extend your left arm either towards the ceiling or towards the front of the room, whatever feels best in your body. But I want everyone to drive vigorously into the pinky edge of your left foot. Keep that extension going through your left side body. Your left hip, shoulder, and wrist are active. Your left fingertips are active. Breathe here for two more rounds of breath. I invite you to find your edge here. Make this so that you feel challenged. Back to reverse warrior, inhale. Cartwheel your hands to the floor. Hold forearm plank for just 30 seconds. Forearm plank, you can take your time to set that up. There is no rush. Beautiful movement, Laura. Forearm plank, elbows underneath your shoulders, a little puff between your shoulder blades. Just breathe here. This is where my mind usually likes to start creating stories or judgments or expectations. But instead of doing that, just be here with the sensation in your body and how your breath sounds. Last round. Lower to Sphinx pose, hips to the floor, elbows stay underneath your shoulders as your shoulders roll away from your ears. Just two breaths. Close your eyes if any visual distractions are here. Last round of breath. Crocodile pose, stack your hands on top of one another, let your forehead rest on your hands. Full breath in. Full breath out. Hands by your hips for a locust pose. We're spicing things up a little bit here, y'all. I want you to go to 80% of your physical effort. So not so far that you feel strained, but definitely enough that you feel challenged. Inhale, lift everything up. Reach your toes and fingers to the back of the room. Spread your toes and your fingers. Draw your shoulder blades down and back. Press your hip bones down. Now breathe with me for five. For four, three, breathe at your own pace of breath. You don't have to go with me. Last two, take it to your edge for your last breath. Go a little bit higher, just a hair. And exhale, release. Gaze to the right side of the room, palms face up. Slow your breath. Okay, yogis, I know it's comfy here on the floor, but we've got a little bit more work to do. Locust chest expansion, hands together behind your back. If you want to use your strap here, you're more than welcome to. Otherwise, just interlace your hands, squeeze your palms, wrists, forearms, and shoulders together. Inhale, lift everything up. Reach your mono fist and your toes to the back of the room. Squeeze your elbows, wrists, and shoulders. Make this uncomfortable. We're here for five. Four. Three, go deeper. Make it uncomfortable for two. Healthy discomfort. Last one. And release. Gaze to the left side of the room, right ear to the floor. Two slow breaths. Hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, press to tabletop. And then just back to child's pose for a moment. I invite you to get comfy just for a minute in child's pose. 
We've got 30 seconds on each side of threaded needle. So start by threading your right arm through to the left side of the room. Now you're welcome to approach this from child's pose or tabletop. Threaded needle, all we need is to reach our right arm as far as we can through to the left side of the room. Now there's lots of modifications you can take here. Remember, this is your practice. So if you want to extend your left arm forward for a more vigorous practice, if you want to bring your left arm behind your back for your right trouser pocket for a more opening practice, just know that you have options. And if that just seems like it's complicating things, then let's keep it simple, stupid. Breathe into your right shoulder for three. Keep a sense of vigorousness in your breath so that we don't get too sleepy. Good, and then unwind. And we will just switch it out. If you need to counter stretch in any way, you're more than welcome to. When you are ready, thread your left arm as far as you can through to the right side of the room. Some of you might be saying, what's threaded needle about? I, I'm not getting anything here. I just feel like I'm hanging out. Well, you're not threading your arm far enough through. Maybe reach it just another inch or maybe another inch and then find that edge. Put the pressure of your upper body into your arm and then lean into the stretch. Deepen your breath here for three vigorous Ujjayi breaths. Beautiful, Valerie. Last round. Set up to unwind any counter stretch that you need. And then we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Whew, we might be feeling pretty relaxed or like jelly, so that's okay. Let's just tune back into the power of our Ujjayi breath. Rest your tongue at the roof of your mouth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, sweep your left leg as high as you can. Keep your hips facing the floor. Exhale, step between your hands. Set up warrior one. If you used a strap on the first side, go ahead and gather your strap again here. Now there's no rush, but we want our feet to be about hip distance apart. 80% of your lunge length. Be sure that your left knee is stacked over your left ankle. Sometimes our left knee likes to collapse in towards the center of the room. Try pulling your left knee towards the pinky edge of your left foot. Close your eyes. Soften the grip of your toes, your shoulders, your wrists. Now we're just softening. That doesn't mean lose the power in the muscles. Inhale, reach a little bit higher. Hands together behind your back. Maybe utilize your strap or interlace your hands, interlace your fingers. As you inhale, squeeze everything together. Lift your gaze upwards. And as you exhale, dive down between your legs, left shoulder to your left knee. Arms reach up and forward towards the front of the room. Try to get your palms to touch. The key word is try, so don't worry if they're not touching. Squeeze your forearms and your shoulders. Divya, reach your arms a little bit further forward, forward, forward. Yes, I know it's uncomfortable, but it's really good for our range of motion. Good, breathe here. Nice way to come back into it, Lael. One more breath, everyone. Go a little bit deeper, if you can. Nice, Sally. Inhale back up to Warrior One, and then find Warrior Two. You can throw your strap to the top if you used it. And I like to just find a little dance here. Loosen through your hips, your elbows, your wrists. Nice, the Lewises know how to dance. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. In Warrior Two, let's again close our eyes after we've done the check-in. And notice where you can soften without losing power in the posture. Deepen your breath. Inhale, reverse warrior, left palm flips. 
Exhale, side angle, bring your left elbow to left knee, extend your right arm upward or forward. Press vigorously into the pinky edge of your right foot. Press your left elbow against your left inner thigh. Everyone breathe here. Now we want that pressure, elbow against knee, knee against elbow, to find more rotation in our torso. Beautiful, Martha, looking strong. Go a little bit deeper for two rounds of breath. I invite you to find your edge if that feels right in your practice. Back to reverse warrior, inhale. Exhale, cartwheel hands to the floor. Go through your flow this time. High to low plank, elbows hug as you lower. Up dog or cobra, inhale. Exhale, move back to downward facing dog. Inhale, send your gaze forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of your mat. Find a halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Forward fold, exhale. We're setting up chair pose. Bring your big toes together, heels with a two inch gap. Inhale, lift up for chair. And first, send your gaze to your toes. Draw your knees back if you can't see your toes. And then gaze forward again. See if you can sink your hips just an inch deeper. Inhale, reach high. Find airplane torso, sweep your arms back. Keep up dog, tilt in your chest. What up dogs? Lift your toes off the floor. Sink your hips just a hair deeper. Inhale back to chair. This time drinking bird, sweep your arms back, lift to your tiptoes. Stay for a breath. Find your edge, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale chair. Exhale drinking bird, we're moving that three more times. Inhale chair pose. Exhale drinking bird. This time with a breath retention, inhale chair, hold for two, one, exhale bird, hold out for two, one, inhale chair, hold in for three, two, one, exhale bird, hold out for three, two, one, inhale mountain, sweep high, back bend, exhale. Inhale, mountain. Hands through center, forward fold, long spine. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Go through your flow, high to low plank, elbows hug as you lower. Graceful, Taylor, up dog or cobra. And exhale to downward facing dog. Full breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Inhale, lift your right leg to the sky. Tap your right shoulder, exhale. Inhale, lift. Knee to nose, exhale. Spicy, inhale, lift. Tap left elbow, pause here. Kick your right foot as far as you can to the left side of the room for fallen star. Inhale, sweep your left arm to the sky. Everyone, reach your right foot another inch to the left side of the room. Good, and now open your chest towards the ceiling. Press both feet down to lift your hips higher. Full breath in. Full breath out. Divya, tell your son, now is not the time. Inhale, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg to the sky. I'm just joshing with you. Take your time. Step your right foot between your hands. Inhale, warrior one. Lift your arms to the sky. Hands together behind your back, interlace your hands, squeeze your wrists, forearms, and shoulders. Inhale, send your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, dive down between your legs. We're holding for three rounds of breath. Can you squeeze a little bit tighter? Within the discomfort, are you still able to breathe and keep it simple? Inhale, five-pointed star, unwind, open up to the side of the room, shake out your hips. Good, and then freestyle for 30 seconds. Maybe you go for a wide leg forward fold and a side lunge. Maybe you go for a horse squat or some, some shoulder dips, some shoulder dips. Just do whatever feels good in your body. There is no right or wrong. Move towards where you feel sensation or where you feel tension. Another 15 seconds, so take your time. Get it, Arnie. And then when you feel ready, 
and not a moment sooner. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Walk your hands to the front of your mat. Stay here and open up for warrior two. Inhale, open. Exhale, sink in, reposition anything you need to. Reverse warrior, inhale, hold at the top for two. One, exhale, side angle, hold out for two, one. Stay for a breath. Find your edge, take it a little bit deeper. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel hands to the floor. Go through your flow, high to low plank, freestyle. Maybe you wanna take a side plank here. Maybe a handstand, do your thing. There is no right or wrong. Full breath in. Open mouth. Inhale, left leg to the sky. Knee to left shoulder, exhale. Inhale, lift your left heel. Try to touch the ceiling with it. Exhale, touch nose. Woo! Inhale, lift up. Tap right shoulder, pause here. Kick your left foot as far as you can. Further, 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 just an inch further and then swing your right arm open. Press your feet down. Open your chest. Last round of breath, take it deeper. Beautiful, Heather. With control, right arm down. Inhale, sweep your left leg back up. Step through your hands, exhale, set up warrior one stance. Inhale, open up, maybe take your strap with you. Hands together behind your back, interlace. Press into your left leg, inhale, gaze up, heart up. Exhale, dive down between your legs. We're holding for three rounds of breath. Last little bit of discomfort. This is our last humble warrior. Pull your left hip back, right hip forward. Equal weight in both feet. One more breath. Take it to your edge. Inhale, five-pointed star. Open up. Beautiful, everyone. This time, let's come into horse stance. Hands to heart center. Turn your toes so they face the sides of the room and sink down. Bring your hands towards or on your thighs. Middle fingers are at the top of your knees. Thumbs on your inner thighs. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears as high as you can. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down. Pull your left shoulder back. Gaze past your left shoulder to the ceiling. Stay for a breath in. Hold at the top for two. One, exhale all the way out. Hold at the bottom for two. One, back to center, inhale, unwind. Maybe straighten your legs if you need to. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, right shoulder back. Stay for a suspended breath in, hold at the top. Breath out, hold at the bottom. Inhale, back to center, and just sit as deep as you can into your squat. Inhale, five-pointed star, open up. Jazz hands, spirit fingers, cartwheel your, or sorry, warrior two to the front of the room. Whew, that was a close one. Almost forgot about warrior two. Hold for a breath, reposition if you need to. Come back to your intention. Reverse warrior, inhale. Side angle, exhale. Hold for one round of breath. Beautiful, everyone. Reverse warrior, inhale. Carwheel your hands to the floor. Freestyle flow, side plank push ups, whatever you need. And we'll make our way back to down diggity dog. Okay, friends. We just have two more kind of intense poses left, eagle and full wheel. So inhale, gaze to the front of the room and exhale, step or float to the top. Halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Forward fold, exhale, set up chair pose, big toes together, knees together, inhale, sweep high, right arm underneath left, exhale. Try to grab palm to palm. If this is difficult for you, just grab opposite shoulders. That's a great variation as well. When you're ready, lift your right leg up and over your left. It's imperative that we keep our gaze at one point. If you look around, if you shift where you're looking, your body will shift too. 
Squeeze your elbows, your forearms, and your wrists. Squeeze your hips, your thighs, and your knees. We're only holding for three more rounds of breath. If you want to nest your eagle or fly your eagle, know that there are lots of variations here. And if you're thinking, oh, that's a little complicated, Kev, I'm right there with you. Just keep it simple, y'all. Last breath. Take it to your edge, sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, unwind, mountain pose, sweep high, straight into the second side, left arm underneath the right. Take the grip, squeeze as tight as you can in your upper body. If you are ready, lift your left leg up and over your right. Squeeze your elbows, your forearms, and your wrists. Squeeze your hips, your thighs, and your knees. Deepen your breath. Nice, Lillian. Variations, if you chose them on the first sign, find them here. Way to stick with it, little Lewis. Inhale, mountain pose, keep your arms high. Swan dive to the floor, exhale. Last flow of our day, find a halfway lift. Inhale, lengthen, plant your hands, step or float back high to low, plank, elbows, hug, up dog or cobra, inhale. Move it back to downward dog, exhale. Beautiful, everyone, drop your knees to the floor. Spin your legs around to the front of the room. We're setting up bound cow face pose first. So I might recommend utilizing a blanket or a strap first. In bound cow face, we want to sit upright. I'm gonna give you the quick demo here. Just because I love this pose, I don't wanna miss out on it. So I have to sit on top of a blanket. Taylor might not need to. Uh, but we start with bringing our right foot into left glute and left heel into right glute. You guys, if you've been practicing with me for the past month, it's the same pose. This time though, we're adding a little bit of spice to the posture. So if you have a towel or a strap, we're going to start with right arm behind our head, left hand to grip. And I'll spin around to show you what that looks like. We'll take the grip of the strap. Now I want you to pull up with your right hand. So you're pulling your right hand up and then pull your left hand down. So you have equal and opposite pull happening here. This should feel like a good engagement for your shoulders. Now option to stay upright or if you feel drawn to forward fold, go for it. Keep your arms active, but try your best to relax into your hips. We're holding this for six rounds of breath. If the arm thing feels too complicated, let's keep it simple and just forget about it. Last four rounds, go a little bit deeper. Maybe pull tighter if that feels okay in your arms. Last round of breath. Slowly lift your torso, mindfully unwind your arms. Woo, unwind your legs. I like to just extend legs forward here. Reverse tabletop is my suggestion for counter stretch, but you're welcome to move into whatever feels good. If you just wanna shake out your arms and legs, uh, go for it. If you're wondering what reverse tabletop is, think of tabletop, but with your belly up. And when you are ready for our second side, bring left heel into right glute. Or yeah, yep, right heel into left glute. Bring your left hand behind your head with the strap or any other prop. Take the bind. First pull up with your left hand and then pull down with your right. Once you have that bind and you're situated, you're welcome to stay upright or if you feel drawn to forward fold, go for it. I want you to focus on just breathing for six rounds.
Last two rounds, can you take it to your edge? Slow and controlled, lift yourself up. Unwind your arms, maybe let out a huh, ooh wee, wow, wow, wee, wow. Any counter stretch that feels good to you. Again, reverse tabletop is my preferred counter stretch for this pose, but you're welcome to just windshield wiper legs, forward fold, do anything that feels good. And when you're ready, we are laying down on our backs now. Set up for bridge and full wheel. One round of bridge, four rounds of breath. Second round is full wheel, six rounds of breath, just for time's sake. Bring your knees and feet hip distance apart. Be sure that your middle fingers can graze the back of your heels. Inhale, lift your hips. Take the bind behind your back, interlace your hands. You can use your strap here if it's hard for, to bring your hands together. Roll your shoulder blades underneath your back best you can. Three rounds of breath to take it to your edge. Last round. Slowly roll down vertebra by vertebra from the top of your spine down to the base of your spine. Counter stretch if you need to. We're setting right into the second round, which is full wheel, only if it's in your practice. If you haven't done full wheel today, then maybe we'll make a specific video on how to do it. If you don't know what full wheel is, go for another round of bridge. If you're ready for full wheel, hands underneath your shoulders, by your ears. Inhale, lift yourself up for six rounds of breath. Now, if you really want to spice things up for the last three rounds of breath, add in a one second retention at the top, one second retention at the bottom. And when you feel ready, vertebra by vertebra, with control, lower down to the earth. And just be here for a moment, be with the release. Draw your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. If happy baby feels good to you or dead bug pose, We'll take this into supine twist. Bump your hips to the right, two inches. Drop your knees to the left. Gaze over your right shoulder if that is okay with your neck. Three of your deepest rounds of breath. Fill all the way up. All the way out. All the way up. Extra sip of air at the top. Hold for five, four, three, two. Exhale all of the way out. Press until there's no air left. Press all of the way. Press, press, press. Hold out for three, two, one. Inhale, fill up. Three, or three sips in. Hold for five, four, three, two. All the way out. Inhale, bring your gaze and your legs back to center. Counter stretch. Bump your hips to the left, three inches. Drop your knees to the right. Gaze over your left shoulder. If you're not feeling a stretch in your supine twist, it could be that you need to draw your knees higher up towards the top of your mat. And if you're still not feeling much, you can always put pressure from your top hand into your knees. Full breath in. All the way out. Fill up. Extra sip and hold. All the way out. 
hold out. Last breath, fill. Three sips. All the way out. Inhale, bring it back to center. Counter stretch. If there is any final posture that your body is asking for before we move into Shavasana, go ahead and find it. Some type of forward fold might be nice here. We did a lot of heart opening, so if a shoulder stand into plow pose or just a simple legs forward, forward fold, happy baby is a great counter stretch also. Just make this as comfy as you can. If you need to cover up with a blanket, maybe cover your eyes. I have found that when I cover my eyes in Shavasana that it seems to help the relaxation. I've got a theory behind it. I think that it helps produce a bit of melatonin, um, but that's just me spitballing ideas. Anyway, just make this as comfortable as you can. Imagine that you are laying on a beach. And that the sound of your breath is that of the ocean waves. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Allow the positive radiance of the sun to heal every cell of your body. Yogis. 
please feel free to stay here as long as you need to. If you are ready to move into the rest of your day, start by deepening your breath. And bring gentle movement into your fingertips and toes, to your hands and feet, arms and legs. And in your own time, find a seated position, but again, there's no rush to get there. Once you have found a comfortable seat, let the back of your hands rest on your knees. Close your eyes. And just notice this quality that you have cultivated within yourself. I like to think of our yoga practice as a dress rehearsal for how we show up in the rest of our life. So for example, the practice of finding balance between effort and ease or breathing in uncomfortable situations, or in this case, keeping things simple. Where in your life could you be more simple? Simple in how you structure your day, in your relationship with others, in your meals. Where can you find a bit more simplicity? And how would that affect your life? What does that feel like? Draw your hands to heart center. Take a full breath into your heart. Out of your mouth. A full breath in to acknowledge one another. Namaste. Namaste. Yogis, I hope that practice has found you well today. I hope that you're able to find simplicity in the rest of your day. Maybe just in the next 30 minutes to find some simplicity. Uh, if you have any questions or feedback, put them in the chat or at info at soul19yoga.com. It's been a delight and a pleasure to lead you through practice. Thank you, Taylor, for helping out. Much appreciated. <laughs> we'll see you guys soon. Love you.